Hello everybody, my name is LaShawn Jenkins with the Notary Institution. I coach and mentor Notary Sign Asians on how they can have a very successful Notary Sign Asian business. Every Tuesday and Thursday, I provide tips on how you can become a successful Notary Sign Asian. Today's video, we actually just wanted to do a really quick video on printers. Um, I'm actually gonna go into the store and we're gonna go printer shopping. I wanna show you when you're in the store what to look for when you are shopping for a printer. Um, I'm gonna go to different specifications that you should be looking for when you're shopping. A lot of people shop online, but a lot of people are like me who actually enjoy going into the store because I like to see uh, what I'm about to buy before I really purchase it. So I'm not like a fan of being online shopping for printers because my mind gets could jump, uh, like all jumbled up and stuff. So with that being said, I wanna show you exactly what to look for when shopping for a printer. All right, so guys, here is an example of a good printer. This is a laser jet. This is um, two tray. As you can see, I have different documents in there, but this printer will not work because you are not able to scan on this printer. This is only for printing, and this is where right here you can look at. So when you see right here, pages per minute, that's how many pages it's going to print. This is 40 pages per minute, which is pretty good, pretty fast. Um, black ink. This uh, printer is only in monochrome. Um, the extra tray, as you see right here, this is the second tray. But this printer really wouldn't work by itself um, if he was looking into getting a scanner. Now, what you could do is purchase this printer and then turn around and purchase a scanner separately, which we will do in this video. So here, let's go to a printer that I believe that will definitely work. This one, right here. This one's a good one. You can scan, as you can see, you got flat bed, automatic feeder. Um, you can actually open it up and put stuff on there. But for long signing, we're always going to actually scan through there. No flat bed, because too many documents. Two trays, so you can set your custom paper settings. This one's a good one, 40 pages per minute. Um, also, you want to look at the toner. I meant to say something earlier, but this one comes in the high yield, so that way um, you can print at least at least 10,000 pages or something. But this is wireless, copy scan, and this, this is a really good printer. That one we looked at before is not bad, but you will have to purchase a scanner. All right, so here is scanners. Um, this is what I was talking about. If you have a printer that you buy that don't have a scanning capability, you can always buy a scanner. This one is definitely on the higher end, <clears throat> but it prints 45 pages per minute. Uh, automatic this one's pretty cool see more wireless is more than anything so this one will work out really good but on a cheaper scale we have this Epson which is really good 35 pages per minute it's not wireless um, so you probably most likely you will have to hook that up to your computer and it's not going to run off the Wi-Fi network but this one's not bad either this workhouse duplex scanner um, basically, you'll put the pages in here and this thing moves extremely fast. You can do it wirelessly and you don't have to worry about with the other printers. You don't have to worry about taking it out and trying to scan it as one PDF. This will do that for you. All right. 